Cax and I have signed up for the Shores of Tripoli 2022 Online Tournament of Champions. How do we do? Let's find out here today on Legendary Tactics. So I'm going to go through the two games that I played in the first round of the Shores of Tripoli 2022 Online Tournament of Champions and uh, just show you uh, how things went and uh, give you my thoughts as I go. So um, I'm, uh, I'm Tripoli in this uh, case and this is my hand. I like the uh, having Morocco declares war nice and early. Um, got uh, you know merchant ship converted that's great uh, we'll take a quick glance at the US hand um, and you know there's some good cards here uh, as well uh, although there's three cards that really aren't useful actually sorry uh, four four cards that aren't useful naval movement and Congress authorizes action uh, are both solid cards early on and uh, certainly um, in the early game if you're uh, playing well I mean you want to play the uh, the Swedish uh, frigates arrive anyway, so that's uh, you can you're gonna probably play uh, There's only gonna be one card that you're gonna discard out of these uh, to either build a gunboat or move some frigates around so um, Not not a bad uh, not a bad hand I guess for the US to start with um, so uh, con The uh, US plays Congress uh, authorizes action which uh, loads up the frigates for 1802 which is a very good move get to get those frigates out as early as possible I respond with Murad Reyes breaks out to get those Corsairs over from Gibraltar. And uh, then uh, the US uh, discards uh, a card. Now this was a bit of an odd move, um, discarding a card. Now maybe, um, let me just see if he was holding. Yeah, it looks like he was holding naval movement back. So I'm not sure why. Um, it's not like there's more frigates arriving anytime soon. Um, but okay, so that leaves one frigate in Gibraltar. Um, and so, uh, well, perhaps uh, the U.S. is saving it for the next uh, the next turn. So I'm going to take this opportunity while I I don't have a strong blockade to uh, do a pirate pirate raid. I lose a corsair, uh, but I gain a coin, and then I can of course play merchant ship converted and get that uh, corsair back. So now um, the U.S. makes the next uh, play, which I think is a good one, getting the Swedish uh, frigates uh, in play. Um, so it puts up a more significant blockade for me. Um, but I'm going to try um, to do a naval battle and see if I can get some some hits on uh, some frigates and send them back. Uh, I end up losing a Corsair in exchange for one hit. And uh, so it's, um, you know, not the, uh, not the, uh, the best um, play perhaps. But uh, anyway, I felt I had some some good opportunities to uh, um, certainly do what I could to, to send some ships home if I had that opportunity. Um, that blockade can be pretty, uh, pretty powerful. So now we are moving on. The U.S. discards another card to move uh, two frigates, going to do a, uh, a pretty substantial naval bombardment of Dern. Um, missing, fortunately for me, but um, yeah, that was a bit of a surprising move in a way. Um, especially since it left the uh, you know the the uh, patrol zone in Tripoli kind of wide open I still have a significant number of Corsairs five Corsairs is not a bad uh, thing so I do a, a pirate raid um, the Swedish frigates do not intercept and I get another coin so um, so so far I do need to shore up my my new Corsairs um, and I uh, didn't get a chance to declare war with Morocco so um, which I maybe should have done, but that's okay. Now I've got storms and the Philadelphia runs aground, which is great for me to keep uh, the uh, <clears throat> the the uh, patrol zone in, around Tripoli um, out of uh, you know, or at least as minimal um, <laughs> protection as possible. It'd be great if I had uh, Tunis uh, declares war. That would be great. <laughs> so I got two raid cards there. And I can place troops in Benghazi. So other than the guns of Tripoli, my hand is completely useful to me. Um, the uh, U.S. has Constantinople demands tribute, which is a great card for them. Interestingly, Burn the Philadelphia is uh, there as well. We'll see if that's a card that uh, the U.S. hangs on to. Uh, there's naval movement uh, and uh, 
some uh, land battle cards, that sort of thing. So it's it's okay. Um, and having Bainbridge is always uh, a good thing. So the next uh, card up, they're going to discard down to their hand limit. And uh, the U.S. discards a card uh, to get down to the hand limit and then plays Naval Movement, which is smart. Get these four ships in play. And it basically splits the difference, uh, patrolling uh, Tripoli, but also doing a, uh, a big... Uh, uh, bombardment again on Dern where they get uh, one hit to destroy a troop. Now this my opponent here was uh, a big fan of the naval bombardment and actually it was kind of an interesting strategy uh, for for me to witness. This was something that I probably wouldn't have done um, as much but uh, anyway it was, it was neat to see. So uh, Tripoli plays Storms and uh, unfortunately misses. That would have been great to have taken out a, a frigate with Storms. Uh, naval movement again, and we're going to get uh, some ships here in uh, both Tripoli and Dern. Interestingly, does reinforce Tripoli, but is doubling down, tripling down, making sure that Dern is completely free of troops. Now, to me, it's not a bad move. <clears throat> it's uh, a little bit premature, I would think, um, because with Hammett's army not arriving until spring of 1804, to me, that seems a little bit early, but uh, but that's fine. Um, I play the uh, Philadelphia Runs Aground, and I manage to get a uh, a frigate sunk, which is uh, which is great for me. And uh, the U.S. Uh, <clears throat> then discards a card to do more naval movement and starts uh, bombarding Benghazi and gets a hit. Um, again, um, I think that uh, perhaps my opponent doesn't see five corsairs as being significant enough. Figures the the blockade as is is fine and. And that's fine. That's a judgment call. Um, anyway, I declare uh, war with Morocco. And uh, that uh, causes uh, yet another naval bombardment and clears out Benghazi. So it's actually interesting because it's a clear path now to uh, for Hammett's army to just walk to, uh, to Tripoli. So setting up that uh, stage of things. Um, <clears throat> I use my Moroccan Corsairs to raid and do not capture any merchant ships, which is really unfortunate. Um, it would have been great to uh, to be able to do that. So um, anyway, got some uh, uh, troop and uh, Corsair reinforcements. Happy hunting is, of course, great. Um, and uh, Algiers uh, uh, declaring war uh, is great. Um, I don't have any cards to actually send out uh, a you know, a raiding party <laughs> from from uh, Algiers, but uh, I'm waiting for the war on uh, Tunis declares war uh, card. If I can get it, that would be amazing. But uh, but overall, I'm I'm happy with my hand um, as as is. The U.S. has uh, this selection here, so launch the Intrepid. Uh, the Corsair's confiscated is useless now. Assault on Tripoli is useless for now. Um, so yeah, it's it's their cards are okay. Um, certainly, uh, the, having Constantinople demands tribute in hand is useful just to take the pressure off. Uh, that's a a good thing to uh, to do. So let's uh, take a look here at uh, what happens. We get some discards down here, and uh, the U.S. discards down to their limit. We both lose two cards, and naval movement is the first play by. Uh, the U.S. to uh, blockade Tangier and Tripoli and set up for the uh, the the Hemet's army play um, as soon as uh, uh, spring rolls around next year. Um, again, seems a bit premature, but uh, it's okay. It's uh, it's got to happen at some point. <clears throat> so we basically uh, just played troops to Dern so I'm refreshing my troops there just to I, I meant this actually as a bit of a distraction because if I can uh, distract some frigates away from uh, the Tripoli patrol zone and so forth I was hoping to get some more piracy uh, in um, and I noticed that the, having troops in Dern and Benghazi were a thorn in their side so uh, the uh, um, the U.S. plays uh, launched the Intrepid as a an opportunity, I guess, to sink uh, um, a Corsair. Uh, to me, that was a weird play because uh, I don't have uh, a frigate yet. So um, anyway, it did uh, work out okay. Or oh, sorry, I didn't have a frigate yet. That, what I meant by that was um, I like to save this card for when there is a uh, tri Tripolitan frigate because uh, 
you you got to get rid of them sometimes in order to uh, pull off a treaty win and I'd much rather do it with a card event if I can instead of committing forces and potentially losing frigates in the in the process but that's okay um, weakened my Corsairs so I can't totally fault that uh, play made my piracy very hard to do so I'm gonna, now going to threaten um, with Algiers and uh, he, he then plays uh, Constantinople demands tribute to wipe out my gains there. So certainly from the U.S. side, it's looking very manageable. Um, there's not a, I don't even have a lot of uh, pieces on the board, especially. So I'm going to uh, play uh, uh, Tripoli Acquires Corsairs to, to beef up my force uh, a little bit. And uh, the U.S. Uh, um, then plays some naval movement. And again, just as planned, my distraction of bombarding uh, the troops in Dern was, uh, was, was good. That worked out well. They missed uh, along the way. So now I can um, play Yusuf Karamanli. Uh, I just saw my opportunity with Algiers ready to go. Uh, Tangier is blockaded, as is Tripoli, but we're hoping for the best here. So uh, from Algiers, I managed to get a merchant ship uh, from... Uh, Unfortunately, from uh, Tangier, we lost a, uh, uh, a Corsair at no, with no gain to us. And uh, then um, um, <laughs> we uh, played uh, the Tripolitania. I played U.S. Signal um, books overboard. And uh, Bainbridge Supplies Intel is discarded, so that's good. And uh, unfortunately, um, didn't get anything from the uh, the raid and lost two Corsairs in the process. So um, while I did do happy hunting, it didn't do anything, unfortunately. So, so you know, all things considered, I would say the U.S. is in very good position here. Um, there's really uh, not a lot of threat um, and there's a lot of resources available to deal with any threats. So uh, this was a pretty good position. Spring of 1804 is here. I've only got two troops standing between uh, <laughs> between uh, Hammett's army and uh, Tripoli, and Tripoli is not even that strong. So um, as far as my cards go, uh, I've got some reinforcements uh, uh, coming in from, um, like I can move the American frigate away if I need to. I've got finally got reinforcements with Tunis Declares War. I can get rid of those Swedish uh, frigates, which is also uh, helpful. So um, I've got some cards I can work with, but it really is not looking too great here. So um, we'll see how this, uh, how this goes. And uh, basically the U.S. takes their first opportunity to play Hammett's Army, um, which is, I think, the right play. Get the pressure on right away. Plenty of time to make it to Tripoli, and Tripoli's not looking too, uh, too good. So I'm going to reinforce Benghazi and... Uh, and then uh, the U.S. is going to use show of force to uh, end the um, alliance with Algiers, take them out of the game. So overall, so, so far, very solid U.S. play. There's very, very little, I think, that I would change. Just little stylistic approaches here and there. Um, of course, I'll get rid of the Swedish frigates, uh, forcing a bit of a crisis in the trip, uh, Tripoli patrol zone. Um, U.S. plays uh, naval movement, which is, a, again, a great... Uh, move, but interestingly, going for the naval bombardment again, um, and all in on that. So piracy is, a, I guess, not a huge concern, and and probably to some extent, I would agree with that because three corsairs does not seem like a, a huge threat at this point. And there goes my infantry from Dern. So, and the U.S. If I double check, if I spy on their hand here, uh, they have General Eaton attacks Dern. So that's going to be a a cakewalk. And uh, they can even potentially do tribute paid and get rid of my uh, allies in Tangier. So yes, not looking good. Um, the only thing I've, I'm hoping for is uh, some sort of turnaround here. So definitely uh, an issue. I'm going to declare war in Tunis, keep the pressure on there. Uh, Dern is captured, which again, uh, I think makes sense. Although I'm not sure why the frigates were sent in. There was no one to, to kill, but whatever. Uh, probably just for fun. Uh, then I'm going to uh, discard a card. I'm going to try and build up my Corsairs again in uh, in Tripoli. Um, really don't have a ton of great options. Uh, 
I probably, in retrospect, maybe should have put two infantry in Benghazi because there's no guarantee that the Benghazi card isn't uh, uh, isn't uh, in play either. Uh, but uh, I'm just uh, trying to find a way out of this. It's not looking too uh, too good. So uh, for me, um, so then uh, after that, the um, I, I we get our new cards basically, and. Uh, yeah, it's it's really not looking amazing um, here uh, for me. The U.S. Uh, is definitely in control, um, and uh, there's no Benghazi invasion though, so that's interesting. Um, but uh, yeah, Constantinople's back in hand, uh, so that's going to mean there's literally nothing I can do to stop uh, being rolled back on my on piracy. So. Um, there's not a lot I can do here. There's, uh, he's got the reinforcement of uh, Hemet's army as well. Uh, he's lining up his cards for, you know, sending in the Marines and all that stuff. So um, overall, it's looking pretty good. So uh, for the U.S. player, but never fear. You always got to stay and play through to the end. Don't resign too uh, too early. So, so he reinforces Hemet's army, which is uh, to be expected. And uh, I'm going to play Constantinople Sends uh, Aid, which is my pivotal event to reinforce, uh, you know, Tripoli, uh, which is great. I get a frigate, a couple Corsairs and uh, two uh, infantry in the city of Tripoli. <clears throat> so that is uh, useful to shore it up. And I figure I'm, I'm going to be in for the, uh, <laughs> the final battle here. Um, U.S. plays naval movement um, and, of course, uh, lots of naval bombardment on Benghazi. Fortunately, miss misses, which is great. I'm going to reinforce the troops there now um, in Benghazi, and two frigates are going to again uh, bombard, and they miss. So I definitely got some luck here, which was uh, very very useful. Um, now I'm going to do a pirate raid with the uh, <laughs> with the the opportunity to uh, get out of Tripoli with very little in terms of a blockade and of course I lose a Corsair and no merchant ships gained so that was uh, very bad luck. Um, so uh, Thomas Jefferson is now uh, in play there's going to be a lot of movement here to make sure that uh, they get all the, <laughs> the naval bombardment they possibly can all in on bombarding Benghazi and they wipe out Benghazi's troops. So that was uh, that was interesting there. Um, now I did a, a pirate raid immediately afterward and got a couple of, uh, of coins, but realistically, um, now that we're moving into 1806, it looks like it's uh, only gonna be a couple turns uh, until the, the Battle of Tripoli occurs. Um, I don't really have much in the way of, of help. I've got storms, which is okay. Um, and a few other uh, opportunities to do some pirate raiding, <laughs> but uh, otherwise nothing too stunning uh, to defend myself. So again, U.S. play here was very good, um, and uh, so we're just going to discard our cards, and then um, the U.S. is of course going to move into Benghazi, <clears throat> setting up the final battle in, in Tripoli. And so I, I realized here I've got to do everything I, I can to reinforce. I reinforced the troops to Tripoli and brace myself for what's coming. Um, the U.S. plays burn the Philadelphia, interestingly, and, uh, and misses, um, which is great luck for me uh, because that could have been, well, I don't know if it would have been an tr easy treaty win because with the allies in Tunis and Tangier, um, does the U.S. have show of force? Uh, no, they don't. They're going all. The U.S. is planning to go all in on Tripoli here, so um, show of force and so forth wasn't there. So anyway, so I took the opportunity to do some raiding and got uh, three merchant ships, which is great. So now we're only four away, and I don't think I have enough time. But <laughs> um, so here we go: the big naval battle in uh, uh, Tripoli to do a, a whole bunch of, uh, you know, sinking. I'm going to play my guns of Tripoli, of course, and defend with everything I have. The Americans uh, get, at the end of the day, six hits. I managed to get 10 hits, though, uh, which was a heck of a lot of luck. <laughs> that was really uh, good. And uh, so the hits get allocated. And one, two, and three. And because of that frigate that had been sunk... 
kind of uh, almost as an afterthought early in the game, the, uh, the I managed to pull out the win. Um, it was a bit of a surprise for me. I definitely got lucky here. Um, <clears throat> this was the U.S.'s uh, game to, uh, you know, game to lose. And I managed to pull out uh, some hits. And that one innocuous casualty that uh, befell him in the early game was uh, <laughs> was decisive. So managed to pull out a victory, as I said, more luck than anything. But uh, anyway... It was a great game and uh, shows that you, you should never give up, even if it seems overwhelming as, uh, as Tripoli. There's always a chance, so hang in there. Um, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Hope you got some value out of this video, and uh, we'll see you here next time on Legendary Tactics.